our first guest is a legendary actress who has been entertaining us for many years. Now she's starring in the Hallmark series, The Way Home. Please welcome Andy McDowell. And, oh, you voted for me on American Idol. I did. You My did? My whole family did. Your whole family did? Yes. yes. Aww. We were obsessed with you. Really? Yeah. That's, that was back, you know, because we used to phone up. We lived in Asheville, North Carolina. Oh. Yeah, and it was a small town. It was just a fun thing for the family to do together. And we voted for you like crazy. Well, thank you for yeah. voting for me. <laughs> it helped me get right here where I am today, so I appreciate that. Yeah. Wow, okay, and Valentine's Day is tomorrow. Are you on any date naps? I am not. Well, wait, wait. Yes. I, well, I am. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's I'm in the about process of getting, of getting on there. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a, I, I am. I haven't, been, I've never done it before. Okay. And um, I haven't really been dating. I've, I've kind of like, I didn't put the energy into it. I was, uh -huh. you know, so happy working, doing other things, and now I'm going to focus on trying to date, mostly to do research for my new show, really. You ain't got, <laughs> basically, you ain't got time for them. I understand. Has your friends given you any advice about the apps? Well, I did have uh, Sharon Stone reach out to me to tell me that, it, that Raya, she's on Raya, that's the one that I'm going to do, is she said she met two gay guys on there, and that was all that she got from that's Raya. That's all she got. <laughs> <laughs> but I, you know, it sounds kind of like fun anyway. Yeah. That could be fun. Yeah, yeah. and that would be a fun day, too. <laughs> that I'll, could I'll be go. interesting. That's for sure. So you haven't been on any dates recently, have you? Oh, well, no, but the last date I went on was a kind of a catastrophe. What was and it And I like? think that was part of the reason I gave up. I, well, the, the one thing that the first thing he did was we, we were going up to this museum, and he looked at me, got really close to my face, and he goes, you know, you're beautiful for your age. <laughs> mm. And I said to him, I'm not usually really quick on my feet like this, but I said to him, why not just say I'm beautiful? Right. You know? Yes. But I, I, the, the date did not go well after that. That was the last one? What, that was my last date, really, kind of, yeah. I know it's, it's, it's been a long time. It's rather pathetic, to tell you the oh. truth. But <laughs> I am, um, but honestly, I've been really happy. It hasn't been my matters. priority. It's, uh, other things have mattered more to me, and I'm not, I haven't really been lonely. But I am, I, I want to play romantic roles. Ooh. So I think I need to do a little homework. Okay. <laughs> what, what, will you consider going on a date homework? Yeah. Yeah? Yes, it's homework. That's a good reason. It's, you know, I'm just, I, I thought if I go about it that way, who knows, it could work out. It but could. if I'm not putting any pressure on myself, right. I'm doing research for my show. For the home, for, for the way home. Character so remember, building. Yeah, so I, I remember how to be romantic. Because it's been so long, I don't know if I remember what to do. <laughs> You'll figure it out. It, it'll come. I gotta hear all about this. You have a ghost in your house. Yes, I hear you have a ghost in your house. Uh, you know what? It kicked, it pushed me down the stairs, child. I heard. Yes, it did. I was yeah. going on about my business, and before I knew it, I was floating in the air. And I oh said, who God. did that? That knocked me down the steps. <laughs> but your ghost... My ghost is nice. It's nice. It got a dog. What, what you mean? It has a dog. How you know it got a dog? Because I've seen it. I have seen it. <laughs> what kind of dog you got? It's just a little dog. It's just a little dog. It's kind of gray, but you know, you think of a ghost. I mean, they're kind of blurry, right? The ones I, the one I see. <laughs> is he walking? Anyway, it? Yeah, it's walking the dog. The dog. He goes by and he goes. The dog goes by. Yeah. Ain't that something? Yeah. <laughs> okay. One more question. Have, did you hear the dog bark or anything? I have not heard any. No. I just see it. That's it. And it's always fast. Really quick. Yeah. It's very fast. Did it's you? almost like it makes you feel like, did I? See See that or I didn't see it, but it happens over and over again. Do you think so. it was like a neighbor's dog before that, you know, from... I think it's something here. It just is something in California. It's just staying with me because it was, it, it followed me from a different house. And it oh. moved, it came with me. Okay. Yeah. When I moved, it moved. When he used to visit as a teenager, what did you think of him? Oh, he was more worldly than the kids around here. Confident. I think that's what drew your mom to him. Confident or pretentious? Look, Alice, I know that your world's been turned upside down and that things have ended that you depended on. But try to think of this ending as new beginnings. Is that how you feel about the Roxy? <laughs> it's how I feel about a lot of things. We're back with Amy McDowell. Tell us about the way home. Well. 
that's uh, Sadie Laflamme Snow, who mm -hmm. plays my granddaughter, and Kyler Lee plays my daughter, and it's multi generational, um, which I really love that we have all ages. And um, I'm alluding to perhaps maybe some romance for myself, mm -hmm. so that's part of the reason why I need to be on the dating app because practice. I have to practice. <laughs> <laughs> I have to practice, but it's a lovely show, and everybody's really enjoying it, and it, there's some mystery to it, because my granddaughter can go through the pond and go back in time. Oh. So I play myself in my 40s as well, um, which was a little scary. Yeah, what is it that. like to <laughs> go back and play yourself? Well, you know, it's just, it was slightly intimidating, because I'm, well, I'll be 65 in April, and I, I had to play myself as... <laughs> I had to play myself as uh, a 40 year old, uh -huh. but um, they use a, a very particular lens and it has a sort of a golden light. And so they lit me beautifully and I wore a wig, which really, it does, it does something to your brain. Mm -hmm. um, so it really helps that I had silver hair to play the two generations and to wear the wig. It, I think it really helped for this particular job that, uh, that I am silver and, and that I could wear the wig. Cause there I am playing the, the younger version wow. of myself. But um, I had to think about my body, like how I walked, how I moved, the sound of my voice. Mm -hmm. um, and also because she's been through a lot, she's suffered a lot in her life. So this was happy times. Happy times. Yeah, and the, my present, uh, the character that I play presently is, uh, is a lot harder, a lot, you know, she's been through a lot, a lot sadder. There's a sadness to her. Mm. So as many depths to the character, like yeah, the huge range. Yeah, yeah, it was interesting, yeah. I would love to try that as an actress. <laughs> Give me new goals. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.